A 200-year-old Swiss private bank going up against the giants of asset management? We'll hear from one who thinks it can. Lionel Schliemann, Mirabeau is one of the oldest private banks in Switzerland. Where does asset management fit into that picture? Well, the Mirabeau Group has been managing money for close to 200 years for families, for entrepreneurs, for family offices. But Mirabeau Asset Management was established as a separate business line and separate legal entities about five years ago. So we are closer to a startup with deep roots than, uh, than an established business. Over the last five years, we have invested a lot of time, resources and skills in building this uh, business line, Mirabo Asset Management. We now manage about 8 billion of institutional monies and we have invested a lot in our systems, tools, processes, even our, our infrastructure and architecture. We moved at the beginning of this year on a private cloud. So we try to be uh, modern, active, robust, and have state-of-the-art tools and systems. Isn't asset management a very, very crowded space? How exactly can uh, a bank like Mirabeau differentiate yourselves in that industry? It is indeed a, an, a fiercely competitive uh, environment, and we compete against all the world. It is very open, very liberalized worldwide. Uh, so we have to be very clear about our positioning. Our strategy is simple. We are active managers, focused and specialized, with a very narrow range of highly specialized products. We don't want to be a supermarket. We don't want to do everything for everyone. We want to focus on what we do well for our institutional clients. And what is that? It's a few strategies around equities, particularly small and mid-caps, but also Asia, ex-Japan, emerging market, global equities. We have now uh, a strong footprint in small and mid-caps in Switzerland, Spain, France, as well as in the UK and European equities, but also in the fixed income space with a, with a few specialized solutions around global high yield, global strategic bond, and convertible bonds. We see institutional investors like the ones you're trying to target becoming a lot more demanding in terms of what they want from their, from their uh, asset managers. What do you see them asking for? This is a very good point, particularly since the great crisis of 2008, institutional investors have been de-risking and have become much more demanding. So the barriers to entry are much higher than they used to be in the past. Institutional investors want uh, a few qualities from their asset managers, crucial qualities, performance, risk-adjusted performance, uh, transparency, obviously, strong processes. They never want the performance to be the product of, of luck. They want it to be the result of the investment process. Asset managers must say, what they, must say what they do and do what they say at all times. And of course, the quality of service and the transparency are crucial. And I suppose all this is all the more difficult in an, uh, an era of ultra low interest rates where you can't just go out and buy bonds and actually expect to return. It is true that the last 10 years, close to 10 years have been extraordinary with the low yield and low rate environment. But bear in mind that we've been managing money for 200 years. So without any arrogance, I can tell you that every year has been extraordinary since the beginning of times in terms of investment. Always a lot of surprises. So when you manage money, you have to be, feel, be responsible. You have to uh, have qualities like humility and not only conviction. And you have to, make, you have to, to be consistent about uh, your process and your, the way you invest your money. You talked before about having a very specific focus and you talked a little bit about stocks and about fixed income. Would Mirabeau consider any alternative style investments? We have been investing in long short equities in hedge funds for uh, close to 45 years. But uh, now more recently, uh, accompanying our clients We've been investing or offering some private debt solutions. And in a few weeks, I can tell you that we will, for the first time in our history, launch a new private equity fund. Very interesting. And what exactly is that going to invest in? So it's a private equity fund, which will be, I, I would call it a 2.0 private equity product. It will be thematic around uh, living heritage companies, that is small and mid-caps companies owned by families, often since two, three or four generations 
and producing some beautiful products like perfumes or uh, food, gastronomy or watches. You have a large number in France, in Italy, in Switzerland and across Europe of uh, quality, of excellence of products in family-owned businesses, which we would like to not only invest in, but also help to grow and, uh, and, uh, and market and distribute their products, in particular in emerging markets. Very so that will be the topic of this fund. Thank you very much. That's very interesting. Thank you, Lionel Schliemann. Thank you. That was Fin News TV in cooperation with Dukaskapi TV. Please join us next time.